Absumo got in touch with me today and said, we've got this hot product, the price is increasing in a few days, it's flying off the shelves, uh, can you please do a quick video? <laughs> So I've not actually tried it yet. So this is going to be a first for me. I'm going to activate the deal and check it out. And you're going to go through this with me so we can see what it's like. So this is a, a data scraper and effectively all the tiers are the same. You're just getting more data scraping. So the lowest tier, which is what I'm going to be testing out, is 2,000, goes all the way up to 75,000. So if you need a huge amount of data and email validations, you're going to want to pay that higher tier. But first things first, let's get this activated and check it out. So I'm just going to activate this now. Here we go. Uh, so we first things first, just standard uh, registration form. So there we go. It's registered tier one. Let's proceed. And there we go. We're in. We've got the 2000 credits. It looks like a very simple to use system. We've got various options down the side. So what is social leads, assuming it's social leads and not sock leads, for? Well, it's designed to help you find potential clients. So let me give you an example. So I help businesses with their local SEO by giving them uh, a great website and then writing the blog articles, doing the Google Maps, um, you know, all that kind of optimization, all that good stuff. And uh, so if I wanted to reach out to people, the obvious way to do it is to have a look on Google Maps and find businesses in a certain area who I can then look into. So let's try that first of all. So we'll enter a keyword. Let's say I'm working with, uh, let's say I want to target plumbers. And this is good, I like. So location, city required, country optional. So let's have a think, let's say I want to do uh, Liverpool. How many results? I'm just gonna say 20. So we can scrape emails, slow mode, well, we'd want that. And we can also avoid duplicates from previous searches. First search, don't need to do that. Validate emails, well, that's pretty cool. So let's do that as well and hit search. Right, so relax, wait for results, can take up to an hour. So you'll receive notifications. Hopefully it won't take an hour because I've only run a very small one. But while it's doing that, let's have a look, little look else what the platform can do. So we can also scrape Facebook by entering a keyword and selecting a country, very useful, and number of searches. We've got Instagram hashtags, keywords, LinkedIn keywords. Now that could be useful as I'm more about professional services, so LinkedIn's a good one. Uh, Twitter, <laughs> I, love, I love that no one calls it X, everyone still calls it Twitter. Twitter keywords, followers, following, YouTube keywords, could be an interesting one, TikTok, or multiple channels. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Let's try, uh, let's see, I don't know if this will work. Let's try, I need a website. This is perhaps, um, let's just leave country off. And let's say 20. Now, if this works, this would actually be a bit similar to some of the other tools like um, OctoLens, for example, uh, that searches different platforms for uh, keywords. So let's have a little look. I'm going to just do that. Query must con oh, two words. Oh, OK. Must be at most two words. So maybe not like the other tools. So um, let's try website designer. I think that's going to return things that I'm not going to be interested in, but let's give it a try. Say OK. So these are both running at the moment. So it looks like this is going to take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and then restart it. So as soon as I said that, boom, ready, download CSV. So what have we got here? OK, so I can't show you online. I'll have to download the CSV and check it out that way. So I've downloaded the results sheet and imported it into Google Sheets so you can see it. We've got the email down the side here. We've got email status. Now that's blank because if you remember on the second search, I didn't tick to verify the email. We've got the, well, it says name here, but this looks like it is the text. I'm needing a website. So actually this is, this is interesting. This is, seems to have come up with what I was hoping it would, which is I need a web designer. I need a good web designer. And then we've got the links and telephone number. There's nothing in the telephone number column. Makes sense, this is scraped from Facebook. And so I can go ahead, I could click on the Facebook um, link and that will take me to the page where this is. So that's a that's pretty impressive for a first test and could potentially 
uh, be useful. I'll have to look into each of these and see if it's worth contacting any of them. But there we go, not bad for a first try. So in the time it took for me to check out that first sheet, the second sheet, which was the first sheet I asked for, is now ready. So if you remember, this is scraping from Google Maps. So all this information is publicly available. And I asked for uh, 20 plumbers in the Liverpool area. And I also asked it to gather the email and check it if possible. And it's done that. So we have emails where they are listed. And we've also got the email status, valid, 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 one invalid, what's this one? Unverifiable, invalid, valid. And there's quite a few businesses aren't listing emails on there, but we have the website. So I can now go and check out the website. We have a contact number. We have the address. What else have we got? Uh, Long and lat. We've got the, oops, we've got the rating. We've got the number of the count. So these, these people are doing well. Plumber and the SID. So that's a decent spreadsheet. You could then take that, uh, just grab all the valid email addresses, plonk them into your outreach, or maybe if you're using a previous deal, uh, such as SendSpark or uh, Replic, you could send them a video message uh, directly to that email address and see if you can open a conversation. So I'm quite impressed. That's a very simple to use tool. And tier one, 2000 credits okay you're going to use some up with this validation but it you know depending on the size of your business that's potentially quite a lot of leads for you to reach out to so i'm quite intrigued to see uh how it performs now with linkedin because quite often with these kind of tools you have to link your account and, and let's just turn all this on i'm going to do the same search again let's say website design and now i did do a multiple channels so i don't know if this was included. I would have assumed yes, but let's say 30 this time and hit search. So that's really nice. I'm not having set up my LinkedIn account. I've not had to set up Facebook accounts, anything like that. Pretty much everything you've seen, I've just logged in and within a few minutes, you know, within 10 minutes of buying the deal, you can have this running and starting to grab information for you. So this looks like it's going to be really cool. Oh, now email validator as well. That's interesting. So if you do have emails you don't have to scrape the data to have the email validated if you've just got a list of emails from elsewhere you can drop them in and it looks like it will validate them for you for half a credit per email so for every one credit you have you can validate what two emails then so that's potentially if you didn't use any of the scraping features alone that would be if i've got two thousand credits that would be presumably four thousand emails you could validate each month so that's pretty cool drag and drop there or drop a csv so this is this is a really interesting one. I can see why it's been flying off the shelf because it it's a it's a very simple tool. There's not much more to show you. There's an affiliate program if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Um, each of these is pretty much the same. Enter a keyword. How many searches do you want? Hit search. Wait however long five ten minutes whatever it is. Go to your search results and look it's ready. <laughs> so let's check out the uh, LinkedIn keywords one. So this is more what I was expecting to find, which is people who are web designers it, it's picked up I'm not using quite the right words I don't think to find potential opportunities but but that's really the point of this if you wanted to reach out to web designers you would put web designers LinkedIn and boom you get a list of web designers on LinkedIn who you could then reach out to so I've tried to use it in a slightly different way it's not quite worked if you use it in the way it's intended you're going to get results so I've got a load of different um, people I can now check out we've got the posts there We've got the titles, they're from all over the place because I didn't bother selecting a country and it's even pulled their publicly listed email address. So there you go, that's the red hot deal at the moment. The price is increasing in a few days, so don't miss out if you like the look of this. For me, tier one offers excellent value for money. You get the 2000 monthly credits for just $59. And of course, if you think you wanna go crazy on this, you can go all the way up to 25, 75,000. If you wanna see all the deal terms, I will put an affiliate link down below. Now, if you excuse me, I've got some leads to contact.